Hello everybody in YouTube land playing some mercenaries video number one Man, I haven't played this game in a long, 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 long time. Let's see how it holds up. I think there are different characters that do different things, but I just picked uh, her, Moi. Did I say her name? Moi. Moi. Glad to hear your voice on the line. Wouldn't have made it through Iraq without you. I think she's good with a sniper rifle. I think. I think. If my memory serves me correct. I'm really digging the controls. I, I kind of wish GTA had this kind of controls, you know? Have you checked out your new PDA yet? So far, I'm, uh, you know, I just played Vice City not too long ago, so. Image, the controls feel more tight, worry, just no better. Not true. I'll be testing it For a game that came out in 2003 or 4. Hmm, M67. Standard issue frag grenades. Produces casualties within 15 meters. Lethal under five. Definitely up to my standards. I know it's not state of the art. M four A one carbine. Hmm. Barrel tends to overheat. Other than that, a fine weapon. Good Fiona. Five by five. You know they say that DMZ is the most dangerous place on earth. I know. Oh, sorry. Still, Jennifer. That's, that's the first name. I thought it was just Mui. <laughs> M-U-A-I? Oh, sorry. M-U-I. Expensive tastes. Oh. I don't know. I didn't like part two. I had it in the 360. I thought that they could They should have kept the graphics like this. Because this kind of looks like Metal Gear Solid in a way. But, um... Part 2, it felt too cartoony for me. Something about the controls or... I don't know, it felt too uh, cartoony. And I'm not saying it had to look exactly like this. Like, the graphics wise, you know, like, um... I know 360, right? Better graphics, but, uh... I think they could have done something like this, but, but slightly better. I mean, look at, um... The Metal Gear Solid on the PS3. And you look at fucking, um... Mercenaries 2, it's like, yeah... You, you compare the both games, I mean, the way they look, you know what I'm talking about. A boot. Remember, I, I just played uh, Fight City, so I'm, I'm, I got used to the control of Fight City. <laughs> I don't know, like I said, the graphics in part 2 just didn't do it for me, you know? I mean, it looks, it looks wonderful, but it, it just seems a little too, I don't know, it, I, it's can't, I haven't played in a long time, so I can't really put my finger on it what exactly. I just knew the graphics were really good, but I didn't like the style of it. It looked too flashy, it looked too bright. I mean, look at this game. It looks kind of muggy, and it doesn't look all happy looking. <laughs> Uh-oh, whoopsie. Can I check the game options for a second? I don't know, the, the, the art style in this game is a lot better than the second one, I thought. It looked more professional. 
Again, I, I haven't played part two in like eight years, so maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I think I still have it somewhere. I remember I liked the, the this game had better controls. It had better, I don't know, the art style. I like this one better than the second one. I remember when I first played this, the fucking explosions were so realistic. Couldn't believe it. Cause later on, you get to take down like huge buildings, I think, with C4. And it, 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 well, at the time, I thought they were so fucking realistic. It felt like a real building blowing up in front of you. It wasn't like other games where you blow up buildings and it didn't look that real. It looks somewhat realistic, I guess. Depends which game. It all depends which game you're playing. But most games back then, the explosions and stuff, it, it didn't feel that real. Sometimes. But this game, they, they upped the ante on the explosions. They, they felt realistic, like you're there. So maybe in future videos we'll see uh, if that holds up. The explosions and the C4 and all that shit. I thought it was kind of cute they literally decide to stand up or sit down. <laughs> I don't know why. I love that. I fucking love that. <laughs> you catch the two Not a bad looking game, right? For 2004? Or 2003? Well, all right. We'll give it a shot. We'll stop that artillery, verify the two clubs, and maybe we can do business together. Major Howard here will give you some intel. Oh, and one last thing. Don't you ever hear the love me again. Yeah, I like the camera stick, how you, how the camera stick works in this game. Like compared to Vice City that I was playing earlier, that game, it, it uh, it's kind of different. But this one, when you move the right joystick, it's just, it's kind of seamless. I like that. Because some of these games from this, back in this era didn't have a uh, smooth uh, control stick, C-stick uh, movements, you know? And sometimes the camera gets in the way of the game and all that. This game, uh, I think they did a, a pretty good job. It feels like I'm playing a game from the, the, the next generation. The uh, 360 PS3. And the Wii. Oh, I, don't, oh, I guess the Wii too, but you know what I'm saying. I'm <clears throat> sorry. You know what I'm saying. It felt, like, it felt very next gen. That's all I'm saying. The controls and the look and the explosions. <clears throat> Yeah, right now the weather and the allergies and it's hot right now. It's affecting my throat. That's why I sound weird in my videos. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was pretty uh, intelligent that you're mercenaries. Because, like, if they would have made this game if you're, like, a soldier, I mean, how boring that would have been, right? Because you got to follow, you can't just do whatever you want, right? I mean, of course, in this game, even as a mercenary, there's still rules, you know? You can't just, it's not GTA, but there's more leeway, there's more freedom, there's a bit more freedom when you're a mercenary. Because they would have made it in a game where you're like one of these allies or whatever, these other soldiers, I think that would have been a bit more, a bit more boring. Since you're a mercenary, you're kind of a wild card. It would be nice if I could zoom in. I should have looked at the menu, I mean the uh, instruction booklet. The sound design is fucking awesome. Even at the, at the time when I first played this, the sound design, man. They say the explosions, the building, the gunshots. 
They get an A plus for that. Hey. <laughs> What's going on with that gun? <laughs> going in circles? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Well, Pandemic does not get A plus for that. <laughs> I thought this was an EA game, but no, it's it's LucasArts and Pandemic. Huh? I think the second one was EA, right? Is that what happened to them? They got bought by EA and they fucking buff fucked them, and they got screwed. You know, that's what EA does, right? They buy little companies, or they help, or they they, they own little companies, and they fucking screw them out of their uh, livelihood. Because they were working on a part 3, but EA, I think it's EA, please correct me, is it Activision? Or EA? One of those big douchebag companies. It's one of those big companies like that, that just bought some smaller companies, made some games, and they go and shut them down. Or they fuck with their, their, their games, you know, like they, um, meddle. How you say they, uh, um, interfere with their creative, creative process. And games come out, games, and they shoot out games that are just half-assed, you know? Yeah, I don't know the full story on Pandemic, but, um, I don't know, something like that. Some company bought them. Kind of like what Microsoft did to Rare. Bought them and did fucking jack shit with them. I would love to see another, uh, pa um... I would love to see Pandemic get back together and start a new company. Like that company, uh, Platonic, Platonic Games. They're like old Rare rare companies. I mean, they're um, ex-Rare members. And they made, uh, you, what's that game called? U Ukulele? I haven't played it yet, but I will eventually. But I hope Pandemic does that. They come back, the the core, the core team of the of Pandemic, and just call something else, and make a, a mercenary type game, and other games they make. I forget other games they made. Uh, I, I should have googled them earlier, but uh, I know they they made some pretty cool games. Gonna get Rambo 4 up, up in this bitch. <laughs> Remember at the end of Rambo 4? Or Rambo, whatever the fuck they called it. That fucking 50 Kel. On I think it was, he was on the Jeep and he was fucking blasting guys' heads open. <laughs> I love that movie. Gonna take him alive. Break his arm too. <laughs> I always appreciate that about this game. You can take him alive, or you can, you can kill him. Kind of like in uh, Red Dead Redemption. When you do the bounty hunter stuff. I think, right? I know, that's another game I haven't played in a long time. I'm pretty sure, right? When you find people in that game, you can choose to kill them, or you can t hog tie them, and put them on your horse. 
I'm pretty sure my, my memory serves me correct. I gotta give me a copy of that game. I gotta get me. I haven't played it in a long time. <laughs> Always hostile, huh? <laughs> Hey, why didn't that work? <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, I think I figured it out. I figured it out. <laughs> it's probably around the corner, right? Oh, it had to be the yellow circle. Like it, like it, like it fucking matters, right? <laughs> like it fucking matters. They're gonna waterboard the shit out of that guy. <laughs> it's waterboarding time, huh? <laughs> it would be cool if they made it, um, with that movie, with all of the action heroes in one movie, The Expendables, they should have made a game like this. Similar like this, but multi but like more than one player. You'd be like four players, uh, offline or online. Roger, in, th in this kind of style, it would be, it'd be a, that, that would be a cool Expendables game, right? Did they make a game? I'm not sure. I would buy that. The Expendables video game. <laughs> I haven't seen any of the new ones. I only seen part one and two. But they made the third one P13, which defeats the fucking purpose of having like a hard, you know, hardcore like action movie with all these guys, you know. Like what an oxymoron, right? <laughs> you got all these actors who are in like radar action movies and they're well known for that. And, and the first two movies were radar, but they make the third one. PG-13 makes no fucking sense at all. But then again, it, it kind of does because they, I guess um, they wanted more people to take their families to see the movie, I guess. That means you can take your teenagers, you can take your kids, you can take your, you know, the whole family. It's unfathomable. <laughs> Yeah, still getting used to the driving. It's quite different from uh, GTA and other games I was playing recently. Wow, what a mess. They really needed your help. Go talk to the guard again.
Can't go through. Can't go through there. Huh? <laughs> Whatever. Back up. Yeah, that would be cool. If this game had like two players, like a co-op ca uh, campaign mode. That would have been pretty cool. Okay, you just jump out of the car. <laughs> you just jump out and, and that's it. I think in the other uh, GTA games, you get hurt, right? When you jump out like that. <laughs> that's all I remember. And I talk to the angry general. The obligatory angry general. <laughs> Or angry colonel. I call him Colonel Clusterfuck. How about that? How's that sound? As long as the pay is good, I'm perfectly willing to jump in. Okay. I'm Colonel Samuel Garrett, commander of Allied forces in the area. This is Major Stephen Holland. I know you're here for the death of 52. Now, most of them are open bounties, but the aces? You need special clearance from us to go after them. You bring me enough intel, I'll get you that clearance. Speaking of which, you'll want to talk to the man leading... I'm sorry. Advising South Korean forces in the area. Company man called Buford. Knows more about what's going on around here than... Well, knows more than he's telling, that's all. Probably already knows where Song is. Yeah. Get out of here. I got work to do. Come on. Come on. Whatever you say, Colonel Clusterfuck. <laughs> uh, gonna, um, the video's almost over, um... Thanks for watching. Look, uh, look at my channel. Stay tuned. I'm gonna have more mercenaries, more Vice City, more you know videos. Thank you for watching. And have a happy Turkey Day too. Take care. Bye bye.